You don't boss, so. <laughs> when I mean he boss, he boss. Go and get your PVC. Go and get your PVC. See, I'm a, people they try get PVC for where? Headquarters for Abuja. You know if you get PVC. When they talk, say lazy youth, lazy youth. Youth don't get up now, say they're not they lazy. They won't get their PVC. PVC they don't forget. You with a singer, oh yeah, get up, collect your money. People don't come out now, me they get up. Me they go collect their PVC, they don't forget their PVC. My people, now that universe they talk. I don't want to waste no time for this video at all. Make una go straight, make una see what they happen for inside our Bodo, Nigeria. Just watch the video, follow me, spread the news. Make people for say, I made your word for see what they happen for inside our Bodo, Nigeria. Try, make you leave your comment for the comment station. I beg, follow me, share the video, and try subscribe as well. Press the like button, the notification bell. Follow me for Facebook page. Just the airport share our video, guys. Thank you. I appreciate all of you. I beg, not forget, share this video. PVC, we must get out. Make you watch and Bye-bye, guys. We are not asking for money. We are asking for PVC. People were on the line, and at the end of the day, they came up to tell us that like, there is no machine. Like if you are 29 years now, because of the strike, before you go for service, you are only above the uh, service age. I'm next German Prophet Mahmoud Yakubu is not competent enough to provide Nigerians voters card, he should honorably resign. Um, the claim is that the INEC officials have ordered them or told them to go back home and come back on Thursday because there is no machine available here at the headquarters. And the Nigerians have a whole lot to say. They are complaining. People have been here since 5 o'clock in the morning, since 4 o'clock in the morning, and nothing has been done. Let's hear what they have to say. And uh, we have been here for, I think, since about 6 o'clock, we've been here. Some people have been here from 4 o'clock, some have been here from 2 o'clock, and we are here to collect our PVC, some are here to register. They say there's no machine. For what? For how many weeks? For how many weeks I've been looking for, to get my PVC? I cannot get it. For how many weeks? They don't want us to vote for our rights. We need change. We need change. My brothers, my sisters, they are at home. No school. Strike everywhere. Enough is enough. That's good. Their children are not here. Yes, they are tired. They are tired. We are tired. Enough is enough. We need change. We are we are saying that so many of us here. Many of us here are in school. There are strike going on for many months. You will talk, sir. You will talk. Calm down, you will talk. Enough is enough. Please, we need change. There is machine. There is machine. Please. Like in the past, they always tell us that we don't used to vote. You used to come and we only vote online. Now we want to vote physical and we want to vote and they are depriving us the right to vote. Like personally, I went to old parade ground for my PVC and they said that they, 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 they've closed. I have to come here and we've been here since morning and they said that they, they, we, we can't uh, have our PVC and we should come out on Thursday and it's ending on Thursday. So please, we need to vote to change this country because they are tired of staying at home. Like if you are 29 years now, because of the strike, before you go for service, you, you're only above the uh, service age. You can't, you can't go, you can't, you can't go for service. So we are tired of it. We need to vote. We need our right to vote, which is the PVC. I don't know what is even happening in this place because a lot of us came here as early as 2 a.m. Yeah, we came here as early as 2, as 2 a.m. People have been here waiting for this PVC of it. But they ended up telling us not quite long after this morning that. They are that the machine is not great and that there is nothing to work that we should have it within ourselves that if we can come back as from Wednesday we should come. It is quite unfortunate. This is our right. We are not asking for money. We are asking for PVC. That is what we are looking for. Because we believe that there is what is called franchise. We have to be, we have to vote and to be voted for. Let them give us that right that belongs to us to vote. You see, with all the candidates are Nigerians, so whoever we like will vote. But let us give us the PVC to vote. We are much here, we are angry, and it can go something else. Why would they say there's no machine? The first thing we heard that the machine, they just bought it, that they need to fix it. The next, um, the next meeting,
hit me head now. They say there's no machine. We should come after three days. Back. Who goes there? Where is the what president is of our rights? It's our right to speech, so we need what to let you go. People were on the line. And at the end of the day, they came up to tell us that there is no machine. And not that it's not even going to end tomorrow. That today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, we are going to come back on Thursday. They did not even go to any uh, of the publishers, not even the radio station, to inform the citizens of the country that no, they are not going to have it. We are not going to be available on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We are going to be available on Thursday so that we will notice and we will be aware they did not do that. We need our right. We want to vote. We need our PVC. Since I was here 5 a.m. this morning, we had the answer to write names. We wrote our name. And they the list over 1,000 people have put down their name. And they, we discovered that they said, we call us and we come and join line. We join the line. We join the queue. Later on, they were driven us all day. They said they are not, the machines are not available. We should go and come back in the next three days. We are tired. We need our PVC. All we need is PVC. We are not here to quite fight anybody. Let them give us our PVC. Let us vote our right. Majority of the people you see standing here, they are students. They are home more than three, four months. We are tired. We must vote. We are going to vote. If they refuse us PVC, they should stop that election. Who voted? No PVC. No election. That is somebody of PVC. We must vote this time around. We know they have plot, but this time they will fail. Will fail. You guys ask us to come out and get our PVC. You are here to get our PVC. And you are, you are, you are, you are, you are playing us for fools. We have been here at, uh, at the old parade ground. They said it's Metama. From Metama, they say it's here. Now we have been following them. We have been following them. Now we are here. What, what they say we should fall lines. We should write our names. We should do this one. Yes, we have done all those things. What next? They are coming to tell us that the machine is not available. That the machine is this. The machine is that. This is Abuja. And then headquarters. Telling us How this much is the machine? What are they expecting other states How to much do? is the machine? Okay, right. Fine. Now, I just have one advice. I have one thing I want to say. Which is this? This time around, we the week we have worked up, and there is nothing I going to do to suppress us. Some of us have paid a price before now, and some of us are still willing to pay the price to say that this country is good for tomorrow for our children. Are you getting me? So this time around, their money, their intimidation, order, whatever, is not going to shake us because this time we will stand and say the right thing done. We will vote. We will collect this BBC and we will vote. I will must watch our vote count. Yeah. Then let me tell them, in case they think that they are not going to do, give us our PVC, one thing I will tell them is this. If they don't give us our PVC, sorry for this, if they don't give us our PVC, then they should be ready to do head to head counts. Because we will stand on the queue, they will count us by our head. If you have a B, you will stand for B. If you have a you will stand for B, for article. We will do head to head counts because they are trying to frustrate us, they are trying to push us away. So that they will use the candidates. And this time around, I am not going to take that shit. Actually, the machine that spoil, the money that they give them, Maybe Iraq have already swallowed the, the money. So maybe we should go back to normal, the one that we normally do before. We join Q. Everybody should follow his own. Because I think they are not ready. They are mentioned to have problems. So I think that's what we do for now. They are not ready to do anything for the youth. They, they, did, not, they did not come early. And the secondly, they, someone, nobody came to talk to us. They, they sent a security person to address us, and the security man came to tell us that the machine has spoiled. The other one said they have distributed the machine to other centers. They don't, they, don't, they don't want to even tell us the truth at all. That's why we are angry. The only thing is that if they say the machine has spoiled, we want to ask Nigeria and them, how much is the machine? We are ready to contribute more money to buy that machine. How much is the machine? No light, no nothing in this country. We cannot keep on continuing suffering like this. Hey, let me tell you, in my office, they say we will not enter inside office without PVC. In the church, we they don't allow to enter inside church without PVC. It has become too much for us. We are ready right now to vote. Let them give us our votes. Let them give us. That's what we are begging on, begging them to do. I am a man of few words. Understand? If I'm next chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu is not competent enough to provide Nigerians voters card. He should honorably resign. Yeah. And we are not going to leave there until we get registered today. Yeah. Understand? I'm a man of your world. I know how it means to other Nigerians to get their PVC. Some of them have even been sacked from office unless they get their PVCs. Understand? For me to be here today, I know I won't leave here until I get my PVC. They should use the same system they've been using before. That just the whole. They should take the machines to polling unit and every the whole thing will just drop. So I think that's but for me, I think I need want it to be scarce so that the youth cannot vote. That's just the whole game. We know the game. That's the game. That's the game.